bizarre polar vortex over Antarctica delayed ozone hole opening, according to what scientists are telling us. The Antarctica ozone hole usually starts from in early August, forming in early August, but rare warming events and a strangely elongated polar vortex this year may have delayed its arrival. Sudden and rare warming events in Antarctica may have delayed the arrival of the ozone hole that appears above the frozen continent every year, scientists say. These warming events likely impacted a swirl of winds known as the southern polar vortex, which in turn affects the ozone hole's formation, the researchers explain. Ozone is a gas that forms a layer in the stratosphere, the middle section of the atmosphere that extends between 12 and 31 miles above Earth's surface and shields life from harmful ultraviolet solar radiation. The Antarctic ozone hole opens in this protective layer every year during the southern hemisphere spring, which lasts from September to November. Records going back to 1979 indicate that the ozone layer above the South Pole usually starts to dis disintegrate at the beginning of August, but this year's events appears to have been delayed. Instead of a typical behavior deepening progressively during August, the ozone hole did not develop into until the end of the month. Researchers with the Coper Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service a European Union body that provides daily analysis and forecasts regarding Earth's atmosphere wrote in their statement. The delay is due to two warming episodes that deformed the southern polar vortex earlier this year, according to the statement. One separate occasion in July and August, temperatures in the stratosphere above Antarctica increased by 27 and 31 degrees Fahrenheit, respectively, such warming events are rare over the South Pole, and researchers noted that they are more common over the North Pole. It's unclear what caused the two warming events, but NASA scientists noted highly unusual weather in the troposphere, the layer of the atmosphere directly above Earth, over Antarctica in July, with temperatures reaching record high levels, variations in sea surface temperatures and sea ice can propagate up into the stratosphere, but the attribution of why these systems develop is really difficult to do. Paul Newman, atmospheric scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, said in his statement, Specific conditions are needed for the ozone hole to form, including a strong polar vortex, solar radiation and ozone-depleted substances, ODS. A strong polar vortex is characterized by powerful circular winds, and extremely cold temperatures, conditions that cause a hole bigger than North America to open over the Antarctic last year. However, instead of being strong and circular, this year's southern polar vortex was weak and elongated, according to the statement. This delayed ozone depletion of the stratosphere, even as sunlight returned in August after the South Pole's polar night. Ozone depletion usually begins in a belt around the edge of the vortex and then works its way inward to form a hole through austral, austral spring. The hole disappears as temperatures warm progressively during the southern hemisphere summer, usually in December. The Antarctic ozone hole originally formed during, due to the human pumping ozone depleted chemicals into the atmosphere. International agreements now ban these chemicals, including chlorofluorocarbon CFCs that were used in air conditioners and refrigerators. Evidence suggests the ozone layer is healing, but a slow start of an ozone hole cannot automatically be attributed to a recovery of the ozone layer. The researchers wrote in their statement, the health of the stratospheric zone ozone layer depends on a complex combination of chemical and meteorological factors. Uh, if countries continue to respect the ban on ODS, the whole should theoretically recover within about four decades, the researchers noted. In the meantime, the size and behavior of the ozone hole will be influenced by meteorological variability, anthropogenic and natural ODS sources, and the impacts of climate change, they said. 
Natural causes of ozone depletion include volcanic eruptions, such as Tonga's 2022 record-shattering eruption. This is by Sacha Pair on Life Science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.